Hey everybody, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Noob 2 Expert Tutorial, where we have finally attacked the Soviet Union, and we're doing great. Well, the Soviet Union is doing great, but we're getting there. You know, it's all, all strategic. So let's see what our naval stuff is doing. We lost a destroyer. Oh no. They lost a submarine. Yay! And another two. Yay! <laughs> and a destroyer and a submarine. Yay! So we're slowly, slowly depleting their navy. Let's see how much they have. I'm wiping Details. them out. <laughs> well, they had way more. They're now down to 20 ships. If I can get that down to zero, I have naval superiority in that region. They cannot land forces when I have naval superiority because I will just, I will delete them from from view. Uh, they do need naval superiority to actually start an invasion. So if they don't have it, well, they can never start the invasion. I don't have to fight. They can never go. So I can take all my coastal forces and just throw them straight into Russia. Quite nice. So we're going to do that in a second. We have some political power. Let's see what we can do. Uh, material designer, aircraft designer. Uh, I do want some stuff. Let's see. Any of these guys? Fortification? No. Conversion? No. Captain of industry? We're not doing civilian factory or infrastructure right now, but this also goes towards repair. And infrastructure, we need to keep... We need to keep our game up. We need to be on top of that. So that might be a good thing to have. Political power gain in general might be a good thing to have. This is yeah, all that stuff. Okay, what else can we get? How about any of these guys? Blitzkrieg, a theorist. Lead doctrine, research time, army experience gain, armor max speed plus 10%. That's good. Uh, anything else that gives us anything here? Anything we can use? Ground attack plus 10%? No, I'm gonna go for that one. Sure. More attack. Alright, anything else? Short on three chromium. I can live with that. So, we need to figure out this situation down here. I'm still trying to break through. It looks like we're doing it. Yeah, tanks are moving into that province. They're trying to reinforce. I'm not letting them. Perfect. Um, we are getting attacked everywhere, but we are holding. Seems like it. Mostly. You have set up your tank army to actually push around Minsk. Yes. Yeah, just, you know, just do a right click province by province until you get to the back of Minsk and then into Minsk and see what happens. Great. And I will shorten the front line down here a little bit because you are covering that quite successfully. Well, let's just say I'm, I'm letting you cover that. And then I'm going to push around the back and we're going to squish them in the middle. That's quite a lot of troops in here. Six, that's, I don't know, 15 or so, that's 20... 30, 40, that's 50 something, almost 60 troops down there. If we can encircle yeah. those and delete them, that's half the army they throw against us. That's nice. nice. Yes. And I still haven't told my troops to go. They are still just defending. I like it. Alright, let's go. Speed 3, see what happens. Tanks are advancing quite nicely. Let's let half of them stay here, please. Attack those. Thank you. Yeah, the rest is mostly going. Oh, we're getting encircled. Stop! That's not what I wanted. All of you need to go in here, like right now. Thank you. Whoa. Encirclement isn't bad until you get attacked. When you get attacked, you're losing organization. As soon as you drop down to zero, you can't retreat anywhere because you're encircled. And oh I've just opened just up that mine again. Yeah, my guys are just showing up now, and all the numbers are changing slowly. Oh, look at that. Almost done. So, you guys... Yeah, come on. Okay, stop again. Let's see what's happening here. I'm getting attacked everywhere. There actually is a tank down here. Uh, four to six tanks and three to four motorized. That is better than mine. With four tanks and six motorized. No, it's pretty much the same, actually. No, he has more tanks. Ah, oh, who cares? Mm, where do I have tanks? Here. These tanks I'm going to pull off and straight into here. Oh, they are retreating into there. That's good. <laughs> this attack and retreat thing never really worked for me. Alright, we have split them in half. Let's stop it again. So, what are we going to do now? What was that? My we'll kill everything, screen right? just reset for a weird reason here. Yeah. Still working. Alright, I'm gonna take the whole tank army, left click on the 
Field Marshal General there and just say control left click on this front line and we're and can you reinforce our encircled troops there in that pocket on the left side ah uh, yes just take all the troops you have on the left of that and right click on that territory so they all move in there before they get deleted from view because I, I don't really want to lose those it's not too bad but I don't want to Yeah, just tell, can, exactly. Tell all of them to do that. All right, I'm going to take all of the red troops from this. Control right click on this front line to select them. Control left click on this arrow to move them over here, and then we're going to delete all those front lines that we don't need. There we go. So red army is holding the whole Russian front, while tank army is now busy crushing that pocket with however many troops are in there. It says here 76. That could actually be true. That's a lot of troops in there. Now we're getting to see some overrun messages very, very soon. I hope you like to see that. So I'm, what I'm also doing is just click on my general here, so I have all the tanks selected, and then I press H for hold, so they stop attacking or defending or whatever they are doing, and focus entirely on redistributing on this little front line and attacking the enemy, and that should be a nice front line right there. I'll do the same for Red Army because, as you can see, they're moving quite severely. Once in a while you just want to do that, press hold, so they can reevaluate the situation. And now when I press play, they will start moving, but not as confused. Most of them just stay where they are and some will just reinforce where it's necessary. Nice. So, how are we on equipment? Shot on guns, shot on tanks, shot on everything. You know what? For now, go. Let's... Let's tell the army to go and see what happens. Oh, wow. Again? What's happening to my screen? I guess I have to check that between episodes here. See what's happening. It's not my graphics card. That's good to know. Oh yeah, we actually didn't tell anyone about that, huh? No. <laughs> so, you have a new screen and I have a new graphics card. That's the outcome of our last Hearts of Iron Force stream session. <laughs> okay, we need to actually try and hold this territory here. Can you please do that? Tanks, are you going? Why are you not going as you should? Oh, because you're not set on crazy. Now you're going. Just do your thing. Okay, how's Red Army doing? Is Red Army going? Are we making gains? Oh, some, well, mostly in the south. How are you doing at Minsk? Uh, I'm still waiting for him to show up. Well, just, yeah, tell them to go there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> industrial effort is done. Great, let's do more industrial effort, why wouldn't we? Yeah, it's looking good. That's looking better now. We widened the corridor and they're actually moving in. Nice. Now it's time to do a little right clicky action here. You, in there, just push them. You are pushing, perfect. All the tanks are pushing. Okay, uh, Red Army is not doing so great, so I'm gonna stop them again. Yeah, seven days short. Marco Polo Bridge Incident! The war in China is going to come about soon. You have a little encirclement there, right? On the very left. With a crap ton of troops, just move in there. With all of them. Select them, right click, crush them. Okay. They are low on organization as it is, so you shouldn't have much issue there. And we do have quite some attrition currently. Air superiority, yeah, alright. Still no invasions, probably never gonna happen. So I am taking all my Coast Guard and I will assign it to this arrow over here. Just attack, full scale. And now we could use some of this. 1939 technology, 1.2 years early with a 50% research bonus is worth it. We're not gonna do it. This is also too early. Working on all of this stuff. You know what, let's get the 5% on defense and breakthrough, even if it's early. We need to research something. See, my tanks are cleaning house. Look at that. Look at that encirclement there. That's still 75 troops, it seems. 
Oh man, the Russians are going to regret this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on speed 3 it's not that fast. <laughs> no, it just keeps going to uh, yellow, red, yellow, red. And it's like, okay, let's try it one more time. Yeah, there's a lot of troops in there. Well, let me just add mine to that fight and see what happens. It's also not the best supply region up there. So let's have a look at actually building supply. Oh, we need to... Make sure that these roads are repaired, all of them, and then see what supply actually is. See, this area is three. Okay. Let's get that up to seven. That needs to be more. Way no, more. No, 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 no. Stop. All the supply needs to go through here. Stop. Hang on. So that looks good. I need to stop a second. Yeah, sure. No. You guys go there. You guys go here. Why did they do that? Okay. Whatever. Alright. Game on. Mm hmm. Got a nice little group here. Let's check supply. Actually, not doing too bad. 21 of 68, 19 of something, 15 of something. Yeah, it's good. No, it's, it's, it's actually okay. And we're overrunning all these troops. That looks amazing. Let's kill those. Yeah, that's looking good. And then we have some very open territory over here. Perfect for tank attacks. So we're going to do that in a second. You are supposed to kill those. Do it. And it seems like the Russians have just lost half of the army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you don't try such tactics when you have a 50% organization malus. It's just not a thing. Right, where are we? Tanks, 700 short. Support equipment, 300 short. We are in plus for infantry equipment. That's great. We are not going to stay there for long. But as soon as we make gains, we're actually gaining military factories by that as well, because we're capturing them, right? Yep. So one thing uh, that we should do now, you probably won't see that, but you can try it. Click on your flag. Hang on one second. I just got a thing, so... <laughs> Alright. And then you see beneath the portrait where it says fascist, there's manage occupy territories. Yep. Is that lit up for you? Yep. No, oh, click on it. And it says, for me here, Soviet Union, there's an occupation policy. Do you have that as well? No. No? Okay, let's let's try something. Wait. Uh, you give control of state. That one. I just sent you something. Please accept. Okay. Good. Oh, we pause before it's given back to me because as soon as long as the battle is fought, it's a little bit wonky who gets the control and it, it might just change in a heartbeat. So, okay. but now you have territory that belongs to the Soviet Union. So now you should see that. Manage occupied territories. You should have Soviet Union down there. Manage occupied territories. I have Austria, Greece, Ethiopia, Kingdom of Libya, and Yugoslavia. No Soviet Union because I don't have Soviet Union anymore. You have it. <laughs> Let's wait until Soviet. next day. See what happens. Okay. Okay. Close it, reopen it. Do you have it now? Nope. Okay, then we just do it later. I okay. have to wait for it to actually take effect. Okay, my tanks have arrived. Time to push. Well, I got a few things to take care of, so just give me a minute. Yeah, well, the game is running. No worries. Okay. Oh, that just sorted itself out. That that was nice. Okay. Right click. Everybody go. Okay. 
Um, that seems to be going. Let's see what we can do here. Air superiority plus 10%. Sure, I take it. Also, speaking of air superiority, uh, all of you should now be here. Uh, it seems like you can't. Well, then you're over here. Who cares? Yeah, we're going towards Kiev quite as severely, it seems. Attacking across Urus and everything, it doesn't matter at all. This is nice territory down here in the south. Makes it really easy to push. Okay, just you know, redistribute yourselves and go where you have to. Within this pocket, please. Not attack. That should work. Alright, naval battle results. They lost a destroyer, we're not really losing anything. That's good. Yeah, I've completely taken naval superiority from the Russians in the Baltics. It's perfect. Okay, and this push is going quite nicely. This push over here isn't. Can we do this? Japanese build up on Chinese border. Well, they're getting close. There you go. Japan declared war. Okay, I have to stop here because I have to show something in a second. Now, what am I going to do? I did get all the industrial might that I can get. I'm not talking about continuous focuses right now. I can still do a treaty with the USSR for some reason. <laughs> Anti-Soviet Pact. Yeah, don't need it. No, we're good. Could befriend Japan. Could befriend China. It's probably not the best thing to do when you're playing Germany. Research Eastern Claims. Danzig or War. Well, we already own Poland, so this will probably just be skipped. It brings us to war with France. Don't need that right now. Um, we can just go down here and just see if we get more territory. I don't want to trade Danzig for Slovakia, no. But fate of Czechoslovakia would be nice, and I do want to go down here. Demand Slovenia. Sure. Let's demand Slovenia, let's see what happens. So I have a new button on top of my screen, which is you can invite to faction. Japan. Japan. No, it's German. Japan is ready to be invited to faction. Um, do we want them in our faction? <laughs> I think we're doing this by ourselves, right? I'm not gonna worry about Japan. Are you still alive? Oh, yeah, sorry. Mm, ah, mm, there. <laughs> I, I hit the button again. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no, we we're not. Not gonna take Japan. Uh, since Japan is at war, their volunteer forces are now returning, so we don't have to worry about those anymore. Let's click on the on the explosion symbol and see how the war is going. So my war participation is currently 88%. So the fighting is done by me. <laughs> um, Mine's 12. We currently have 170,000 losses. The Soviet Union has just lost 1.5 million due to all the encirclement we just had. Uh, but they are not. They are zero percent towards capitulation. We haven't taken anything that would bring them closer to capitulation, which will change in a second when we take Minsk. Right? Where is it? There and uh, down here, in Kiev. So. Let's make that a thing. That's all adjusted. Yeah, let's let's just continue rolling here. I'm gonna right click yep. to dismiss this. Uh, also that and that and that. And I don't need this and yeah, don't care. Just clean up the screen a little. Your divisions are set to go. Are they executing their plan actually? Yes, they yes, are. Yes, it looks like it. All right. Couldn't see the arrow. You can see it on the arrow. You know when when the arrow is moving. And they're actually doing yeah. stuff. When it's not moving, then it's just a battle plan like my red one. They're just there as a token army. They're not doing anything. Yep. 
Alright, you guys push that out of the way. You guys, you have done that already. That's perfect. You, no, you stay here. Chinese United Front forms. That's something that happens whenever Japan attacks China. All these little states just form up into one big China, so they actually have a chance. It's not much of a chance, but they're doing it. 0.8% attrition. 90% supply. Oh, well, that's a thing. Did I not just encircle Kiev? Oh, wow, what was that? You, I just in there. Another prov province. And as soon as this province is taken, we're just marching right into Kiev and see what happens. You just took a province? Yep. Oh, yeah, up there. Right, in Minsk. Yeah, go up from there, you know, take the province to your right yep. and then go up. Yep. And, and then past Minsk doing. into the forest. Let's see if we can encircle Minsk, actually. That would be cool. No, they're pulling a the tank out and heading it this way. That's even better, because that means we can take the city easier. Do a couple right-click maneuvers here, just to make sure we're actually gaining territory. There's a province where there's nobody in there. I'm moving in there. All of you. Attack this, please. Yeah, it's going to be a thing. And we need to take quite a bit of the Soviet Union. You see where my main attack line is going, right? Um, that that big wide front in yes. the east. That is the territory we have to take, probably more than that. Since this is the major industrial part of the Soviet Union. Uh, it has the most victory points, so we are going to do this. Um, hmm. Minsk? Anybody? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's, I'm trying to get my guys to go up there. Yeah, same here. This, this tank front is too big again. Let's shorten that down to here. And down to here. Yeah, they just took one more province and we got Minsk encircled. Yep. No, you just stay there. No, you stay there. Seriously, stay there. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, I'm attacking into that as well, from the north. Yes. So let's see if we can get them out of the way. Improved machine tools. Thank you very much. <laughs> One year ahead of time. What? Yeah, not gonna do that. Thank you. Alright, well, let's stop it here for today, because we are getting there, but, you know, the war will drag on a little bit, and it's still winter, and it hurts, and that's just what we have to deal with. So, for those on the stream, don't go anywhere, we'll continue straight away. For those watching the video, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to justify a subscriber goal and blitzkrieg the like button, like we do with Moscow next episode, if we're lucky. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Not next episode. We'll see. We could. I mean, I could go really crazy and just do it. Um, where are we? Follow me on Twitter if you want to catch the next live stream. I'm Scripter. He is Scott. And you are dismissed. <laughs>